What is up guys, we are past the halfway point of the special event today. I'm going to review Skyfall for you guys. This is the third part of the series, of course. I'm doing this special event in honor of No Time to Die, the conclusion to the Daniel Craig uh, James Bond saga. By the by, I'm the movie guy and this is my review for Skyfall. The production stage for this film was definitely not as rushed as the disappointing Quantum of Solace. Released four years after it, it boasted a new set of writers and a new director in Sam Mendes. Despite the failure of Quantum of Solace, this film still received a lot of hype and attention. It is, after all, part of the iconic James Bond franchise. This film starts as many other uh, James Bond films before it with 007 involved in an action scene which involves car chases, bike chases across rooftops, some hand-to-hand -hand fighting on top of a train and the most surprising aspect is that James Bond loses the suspect at the end of the scene. He gets shot on top of the train by his colleague who is urged by M to take action even though she did not have a clear shot and now James Bond is perceived to be dead. He is of course not because this is a feature length film, not a short film and it cannot end after 20 be them glorious minutes. Then James Bond takes a long overdue vacation but he gets dragged back into his line of work because the MI6 headquarters were blown sky high with the main target being M. The perpetrator seems to have personal connections to the skipper and it has become James Bond's mission to save M and find the terrorists. There are two big themes approaching this film. First of all, there is the past. We get to learn more about 007's past, his upbringing, his parents, how they died, how he overcame that and a lot more uh, that we didn't really know about him despite this being a series of 20 something movies with stories about him we never got to get this close to to James Bond. The other person that we get to learn a lot more about is M. We know that she's the boss but besides that we don't really know anything about her. We find out more about her past, her ruthless side and that's why this film is probably the most personal in all of the James Bond series. The second theme is rebirth with James Bond being considered dead he took as I've said a vacation and when coming back to work he had to rediscover you know his skills when he comes back he has to take a lot of tests like a physical test a psychological test he fails all of them and throughout the film he has to get back to where he used to was and at the end he is a much better agent for it I really liked how this film was operated it's first a mystery film where the antagonist does not show his face and I was genuinely intrigued to find his identity. Afterwards it became a cat and mouse game with James Bond chasing Silva who is the antagonist and Silva chasing M and so on and so forth. At the end of the film 007 switches the roles which leads to a glorious final standoff. I would say that the transition into a more mainstream franchise continues with this new entry but this film still keeps a lot of vintage James Bond elements like Bond girls comedy and outrageous action. The film also added a whole new list of stars to their cast. There's Daniel Craig who played James Bond who brought in a much more mature performance this time around. There's Judi Dench who played M and she had a very important role in this film. Ralph Fiennes appears in this film and he is of course great. There's also Ben Whitshaw. There is also Javier Bardem who is fantastic at playing psychopaths. They really elevated the cast in this one. Skyfall is my favorite James Bond film ever. So my recommendation is that you should give this movie a watch with a rating of 5 stars. Next week we finish off this special event with my review of Spectre. Let me know down in the comments what you think of Skyfall and while you are there press that like and subscribe button. Press the bell to get notifications every time my videos get uploaded. And until next time, keep on watching movies guys. You both know what's at stake here. There isn't much road left. Take the bloody shot.